What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video from Exotic Astrology and today we will discuss about the day which everyone is talking about. <laughs> and I am recording with my mobile so there is some shakiness. Please tolerate it, okay? And if you have still not yet subscribed <laughs> I will not say anything other than saying please subscribe okay and click in the bell so that you get mails when I upload the videos. So today what are we going to discuss about? What? Yes. The most awaited day of the year. <laughs> we have seen different areas like transit of Jupiter, transit of Rahu Ketu okay. But these are not main events. <laughs> the main event is of the event of eclipse, okay? Solar eclipse, which is happening 21st of this month of August. See, August has been a roller coaster. <laughs> so, what happens when there's a solar eclipse actually? Solar eclipse is happening in the sign of Leo in four degrees when sun and moon are conjunct okay which is known in astrology as amavasya which means the moon is not visible which means that it is a new moon okay basically it means that the moon starts to grow slowly after the amavasya okay and rahu or ketu if it is in close proximity within those degrees then it is called an eclipse okay now, where is Rahu? Rahu is going to change sign from Leo to Cancer this Thursday, okay, on 17th. So, 18th morning, Friday when you get up, Rahu will be in Cancer, okay. And this eclipse is happening on 4 degrees of Leo because Sun will enter Leo by 17th, okay. 16th only, uh, from morning 17th you can feel its effects and moon is now transiting the nakshatra of Bharani so it is in Aries so it is like almost there uh, three four zodiac signs away so by 21st sun and moon are going to be together okay in the nakshatra of Magha in Leo Magha nakshatra within Leo okay so what is going to happen by that now what eclipses mean is eclipse is basically a new moon or a full moon with Rahu Ketu's involvement okay and this eclipse is happening in Leo which is a sign of royalty governments authority okay power post position determination our willpower our strength okay our creativity the things that we love to do okay those are the things that are represented by the sign Leo okay now when this eclipse is happening it simply means that Rahu is going to put its effects okay unto the Sun and Moon okay it eclipses the Sun Moon okay so then what happens is whatever we perceive around us that is not actually the Sun Moon which is ourselves that is actually Rahu which is or karma, fated events, okay, things which we have no control over, okay, those things which are destined to happen, okay, those things culminate in the eclipse, okay. Now, how would you see this is? Just see where the sign of Leo is falling in your chart, okay, whichever house it is falling, for those things related to the, that house, okay. There will be new beginnings and this will be very drastic and it will stay till February the next eclipse six months later okay and in this what will happen is you will realize that those things which will happen now are so much beyond your control okay and these are fated events which are destined to happen by your karma because eclipse the new moon difference between a new moon and a new moon which is under eclipse is 
it is like something in steroids okay uh, rahu explodes the qualities of the new moon so the beginnings which you do will be very bombastic okay and it will be like phenomenal you will be like wow what i have done okay so depending on the different ascendants i will tell what will happen so for the leo ascendants okay this is happening in the first house itself so something to do with your image name fame reputation okay or going to the gym or your appearance okay or what you want to do in life because first house is the direction okay first house and ninth house they represent directions in life so some fated events will come related to you okay and you will have to let go of some people from the seventh house which is other people okay some relationship or some friendship or something like that related to other people basically leo ascendants okay and new beginnings in your life okay very important for leo ascendants and then we have the virgo ascendants okay for virgo ascendants this is happening in your 12th house so that means new beginnings in spirituality okay 12th house matters what are 12th house matters 12th house is the house of going deep inside going to sleep see i have gone to sleep and in this couch 12th house <laughs> and then new beginnings in spirituality or you might get a chance to go to the foreign lands okay and then we have the libra ascendants this is happening in the 11th house okay so new opportunities related to money gains network circles etc all these things will come up okay and this will happen in a very drastic way okay and i know the libra ascendants who have been telling me what is happening in that 511 axis okay and then we have the scorpio ascendants this is happening in the 10th house so major 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 transformation in your career you might change your career or you might change the way you think you should work in this life okay and then we have sagittarius ascendants for whom this is happening in the 9th house so beautiful time for spiritual journeys and counters into spirituality okay and then we have capricorn ascendants this is happening in your 8th house okay so be careful of some controversies which can come up from the beneath the ground okay some scandal or you might want to go deep down into occult and all this again okay and then for the aquarius it is happening in the 7th house okay <laughs> so some new partner can come within the 6 months and you'll be like my god <laughs> and she'll just create some karma which you are like oh my god was this destined to happen to me okay so i will not speak much and then for pisces people it is happening in your 6th house so daily routine work health job etc okay you might run into some fights also with people and then for aries it is happening in your fifth house so education matters okay be careful and then for taurus it is happening in the fourth house mother okay mother vehicles comforts etc and then ultimately we have gemini ascendants for which it is happening in the third house okay so short distance travels okay courage etc these feelings you will have and then ultimately we have cancer ascendants for whom this is happening in the second house okay so some affairs related to money or family can come up so depending on the ascendants this will vary okay so pray to god during the eclipse okay 